Many gardeners like to recycle water from the guttering of their house by rigging up a water butt. Not only does this make sense for the environment, but it also offers you an extra supply of water for your garden during a hosepipe ban. All you're doing is simply diverting the runoff rainwater from your drain pipes to a container for future use in the garden. Right, Loretta, rigging up a water butt to a downpipe. Yep. Very simple procedure, isn't it? I mean, there are various different models available of diverter which you could use, but the principle is ultimately the same. Simply attach the diverter to the downpipe and then from a hose, feed into your water butt and you can save water. One important thing to remember is, of course, make sure your water butt is on a stand so that you can actually get a watering can underneath the tap. That's right. And of course, don't forget, we could also use two water butts. Could do, yeah, just by simply running a connector kit between the two. With this particular diverter, we need to make sure that the water butt is a maximum of 500 millimetres from the downpipe before we do anything. If you need to site your water butt more than the recommended distance away from the downpipe, you can, of course, use additional rigid overflow pipes. Again, for this diverter, we've measured 100 mil from the top of the butt and marked where we're going to make a hole for the feeder pipe. OK, got my first mark in there. So that's where we're going to attach the hose from the diverter. Yep. Can you pass me the hole saw? Yep, sure. And I'll drill our hole in. OK. Then measure across from the hole and mark on the downpipe. For this model, we've had to mark, then cut twice to remove a little section of downpipe. Check the packaging because the instructions may vary. You may need to loosen the screw fastenings further up the pipe to make it easier to fit the diverter. Saw through the downpipe and fit the flexible splash seal to the top section of pipe. Then fit the diverter socket between the two sections of downpipe, making sure it's positioned so the outlet pipe is at the bottom. Pull the splash seal over the top of the diverter. Tighten the screws back up that were loosened before so the downpipe is secure. So with the diverter in place, we can now attach the pipe. So if you can take the lid off and I'll screw it into position on the inside. To fit the pipe to the water butt, simply remove the nut, push the connector through the hole and then tighten the nut on the inside of the butt. It's nice and tight. And you can use special gutter sealant for an even and better seal. Pop it on. Okay, that's nice and firm. Time to pop the lid on and stand back and wait for it to rain. 